Guess what, folks? You already know these notes, so now here are these notes. They're called middles because they're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms because no. on the bottom. Okay, yeah. we're together now as a team. I'm feeling it in the room. So we have, what are these? Bottoms. Bottoms. Middles. Very cool. So play bottoms. So now look here at the look at this keyboard. I'm sorry, this staff. Play this. Make sure everybody's playing right here. Bottoms. Now play middles. Good. Stop, please. Right here. Go to the next two sets of white up. Play those. Let me hear them. Okay. Those are called tops. Okay. So now check out your music. Right at the bottom of page eight, bottoms, middles, tops. Bottoms, middles, tops. Before we start getting that, oh, by the way, I hope you get that you already know six notes on the staff and it goes fast, okay? Very cool, so watch like this. Hold up your hands. Sometimes in instruments, the fingers are numbered differently, but in piano, this is number one. Your thumb is one. Both thumbs are one, okay? Some instruments don't number the thumb. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. So now read this. What's it called? Five lines and four spaces. What's this called? Staff. Staff. What's this called right here? Treble clef. Treble clef. It's telling me something. It's telling me where on the piano or where to read, whatever. What is this? Bottoms, middles, tops. Middles, tops. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen, right here on your music on page eight. Start, we're gonna to play together, and here's the steady beat like this, okay? So you're gonna play it and say it. Now stop one more thing, sorry. Some people go, if I say it, I feel dumb. Okay, so feel dumb, get over yourself, and say it. The more you do to add to what you see and what you hear, the faster you go. So you wanna be fast at this? Work with me, people. Yes, Chris. Everyone we play with these two. Yeah, for right now, because right here on this, on um, do you see where it says right here at the bottom of eight? There's the bottoms, and then there has a little two and a three. It's telling you they want you to play it with fingers two and three, either hand. You may pick which hand you'd like. Okay, so here we go. You ready? Starting here, and here's the steady beat. Say it and play it. And here, oh, one little trick. While you're playing, if you need to use your other hand to point. You can do that. Otherwise, you're looking up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Pretty soon your head cracks off. Okay? So if you need to put your hand here uh, while the other one, that is totally fine. You will get used to not having to look down. Okay, ready? Everybody find bottoms in the center of the piano. And here's the steady beat. Two, ready, say it, go. Bottoms, middles, tops. Tops, middles, bottoms. Tops, bottoms, middles. Middles, tops, bottoms, bottoms, tops, middles, middles, tops, bottoms. Okay, you're so cute because everyone's like, ah, ah, ah. That was fast. Now let's go a little slower, okay? Now do you understand what I'm saying? Put one finger up so you can follow. One finger and say it slower. Here we go. Bottoms, middles, tops. Tops, middles, bottoms. Tops, bottoms, middles. Middles, tops, bottoms, bottoms, tops, middles, middles, tops, bottoms. Go ahead and plug your headphones in. Oh, wait, do you get that on the staff already you know six notes and we're going to play a song in just a minute? And that's amazing. Go ahead and plug your headphones in. Pick any sound you want. Practice that little page eight and get real good at it on your own with your own time not worrying about keeping up with everybody and go okay those of you at home here's your opportunity now to practice bottoms middles and tops one of the things that's going to be the hardest is actually to keep saying the words out loud you'll feel kind of silly but i promise the more you speak out loud as you're playing the faster your hands will be able to know right where to go bottoms middles tops Marilee, did you say with one hand? Uh-huh, can or use both, it's up to you right now. Oh, now it doesn't matter. All right, thanks. Can you push me down? Yeah, they push down. Too big? No, too big. Does that fit over your ears? Bottoms, middles, 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 tops. 
How'd you do? Yeah, Does do you really? And one of the things that I want you to be is comfortable enough to say, "I don't get it." Okay, because. Uh, Maybe now everyone kind of gets it, but there will come a time when you go, I don't get it. I want to help you. I want you to get it. Does everybody feel okay about bottoms, middles, and tops? Now, one of the things that could confuse you is if you get, go, where is bottoms again? And, you know, is this bottoms down here? Okay. So how could you fix it if you get lost? Count 26. 26, 26. Okay. Very cool. What's it called that music is written on? Stop. Okay, and what is this called here? Yeah. Love that. Now watch. Go to page nine. Yep. Go to page nine. Fix our page nine. We're going to learn a couple more things, and then we're going to start playing songs, ladies and gentlemen. Watch. All music is written with pitch, which is what you've been doing up and down, or and rhythm. And now we have to learn a few rhythm things. And then you're going to start noticing stuff that you've seen in music, but you didn't know what it was. That's way cool. The biggest note that we have that we use mostly is called a whole note. Look at it. It's just a whole. Okay? Brilliantly named, I think. Whole note. Okay? Whole note. The next thing is a half note. It is the same as a whole note, except it has a tail, like a stem on it. We call it a stem. But it takes two half notes time-wise to make the same amount of time as a whole note. Okay? We're going to be talking a lot about steady beats. So if I say this half note gets three steady beats, think carefully, how many steady beats would this whole note get? Six. Six, because three, it takes two, yeah, to be six. This is called a half note. What one is this again? Whole. whole. All right? The next one down, very similar, except how is it different? How is it different? Oh, yeah, it's colored in or filled in. Has a stem, but it's colored in. It's called a quarter note. What? Yes, such a good question. Cha-ching. If the stem, this is about later on, like three months into the class, but we'll answer that question now. The stem, if you're here and up, like going up, the stem goes down. Otherwise, you get stems poking up. If I'm down here, the stem goes up. And this is really important. The stem goes up on the right, down on the left. Sometimes you'll see commercials, and people will draw this, and then they'll go like this, and you'll know, not a musician. Okay? We'll come back to that, but good question. 